proper lighting and backgrounds. <laughs> Today we're going to be going over proper lighting on your stream. When you go to most streams, you might notice that their webcam isn't the best quality. You'll see that there's very grainy, maybe they're too dark, all these things that you might complain about when you go to somebody else's stream. And I will not let you have a bad quality stream. So how do you, how do you prevent that? How do you make sure that your lighting and your quality is better than everybody else's? Now you may be thinking, yeah, it's your webcam. No. It's not only just your webcam. I have the Logitech C920. It's, you can pick it up for about $100 and it's a very common webcam that streamers use all the time. Now to get the most out of this camera, you need to do one, mess with the settings so it's good for your lighting setup, and two, make sure you have good lighting. Is this good lighting? No. Now you don't want to really mess with the auto settings. Auto settings is good if you don't know what you're doing, but in this video, we'll be making sure that you know exactly what you're doing. Nerd! Shut up, what do you know? So if we hop on over to our webcam settings right away, uh, we can go and look at, this is what, this is what the Logitech uh, looks like. So you have the webcam control, so you can zoom in with this. How you doing? You can't, so if you look at the bottom right of your screen, you can see me zooming in. You can fix the correct sound if you're using your webcam as a microphone, which I will not recommend. But if you are, you can check this mark for the right sound. You can have it follow your face so that if you are zoomed in, you can make sure that wherever you're going, the webcam follows your face. And the autofocus, I turn off because I never really have an instance where I want somebody to focus on something that's this close. I wanted to always focus on me in the background. But if you wanted to do a macro shot, you would up that and focus on something close, just like this. Uh, but again, I don't think I'll ever be doing that. So if we go into the advanced settings on the C920, uh, we'll see this, and any Logitech webcam will have these same settings or similar settings. So what I normally do is I will click auto on every single one of these, let it adjust itself, and then from there, I will um, adjust the settings further to make sure it is the best quality that it can be. So if we go into our, my face cam again, I'm going to hit auto on everything and it will adjust it a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to take it off and immediately what I notice is that this side of my face is too bright in my opinion. It's, it's, it's very shiny. It, it, it brings too much attention to it. It's, I just think it's a little bright. So for me, I'm going to adjust the exposure, maybe put the exposure down a bit. Uh, and this is a lot better already. Um, I like how it's a little darker, but I still think it's a little too bright. It has that really weird shine to it that I don't want to draw attention to. I don't want it to reflect off of my face. So I'll bring it down one more. And this looks all right. You don't really see a whiteness, a white reflection anymore. You just see a better picture, right? For white balance, it's the same thing. I'll let it go auto and then I'll adjust it further. However, I do like where it is in terms of auto, so I'm not gonna go uh, any further than this. In terms of lighting, I only I do a three-point lighting system, one with the key light and one with the fill light and one in the background that is not on currently, but I will turn on later to give you an effect of what it does. I'll show you what a three-point lighting looks like on a Wikipedia um, right here. So here's the object, uh, me, obviously. The key light is on one side, to me it's my left, uh, the fill light is on the opposite side to me is my right and the backlight which I will turn on right now to show you what that looks like. So with the backlight on you can clearly see my background now. You know that it's foam, uh, black foam instead of a black wall. If you have a background that you would like to show that you are proud of and that you think looks good, by all means get a backlight for yourself and light up that background. There are other t forms of lighting setups that you can use instead of this three-point lighting system. There's 24 different setups that you can do and I'll link that below in the description. Uh, the ones that I enjoy the most are the ones that completely illuminate the face to make sure you're fully visible. Otherwise, it's just a effect that you might want in photography. For example, the split short, I don't think you're ever really going to use that in terms of streaming. But if you want to go for that cool photography effect, hey, this is how you do it. The ones that I enjoy are these loops though. So this loop with a rim light, which is just one light and a backlight. I enjoy uh, the same thing with this one. 
loop with a background light. That is pretty much what I'm going for, except I did add an additional light. If I took out this light, though, then it's almost exactly that loop with a background light. And of course, one of the most common ones is the key and fill. The key being the light that is focused on the object and the fill light just to fill out those shadows on the other side of the face and the other side of the room, in fact, for a streamer. For these photography photos, it's just a face shot. But for me, it's my entire room. So if I turned off my fill light, again, this is a whole shadow on this side of the room. And it also creates shadows whenever I move. If I move my hand like this, you can see in the background right over here, there's a shadow moving. And I find that very annoying. So to prevent it, turn on the light. Now I don't really have that shadow back there anymore. Not here. Up here I do. But not here. Not here. Not so much, anyway. I only have three things of lighting. I have one to my left, right here, and it's clipped on to my monitor stand. I have one to my right, same thing, and they're just desk lamps that I bought at Walmart for like $10. Uh, very easy to purchase, very cheap, and you can have much, much better lighting and better webcam quality. And then I have one at the back, right here, just illuminating my background, like I said. Having good lighting is very important for your stream. It makes sure that you are visible at all times. People come to your stream to view you and your game. If you're not visible or you are bad quality, why wouldn't they go to somebody else with better quality stream? You can have as good quality as anybody else, but don't give your viewer an excuse to leave your stream just because of bad lighting and bad webcam quality. In terms of having a ba proper background, if you want to light your background, have it as a, just a decoration or a plain wall. If you have a mess, everywhere in the background, don't light your background. That's just pretty straightforward. If you don't want to show your background, don't have a light for your background. And that's all it's really going to be for today. So I thank you for tuning in and come back tomorrow when I go over some other topic. I'll see you then. Peace.